Okay, so after I force dry, I use a heated dryer. This is the Does dryer. Um, you can also use a normal handheld. And the reason that I'm fluff drying the shirt coated dog is because the heat from the dryer is going to make my shedding more effective. And I'm not going to use a brush at this time, I'm going to use a glove. I'm going to take and I'm going to basically pet the dog. And it seems really weird, but once you start doing it, you're going to be like, wow, getting so much hair off of here. Doing this, it just loosens up the hair. And obviously, I'm very gentle way of de-shedding. This is great for cats too, as long as the cat's not freaked out by the glove. And if you adjust this, and I can get in, and I can get the traditional rubber curry, which I like the Kong Zoom Grooms. This is my favorite one. The rubber's a little softer, so it's also sticky like my glove. And I can do double tape. And this is a hand over hand method and so I'm going like this and following with the brush. And you can see we're getting quite the nice little pile even with the hair flying off. And the hand over hand is nice because great finding like this you're not like <coughs> with a brush. Um, you know you really want to let the tools do the job for you. So I'm going to do this for about 10 minutes while I make sure she's completely dry including her face. And this is a thing that a lot of groomers, you know, don't think about the shedding, but here on a bulldog in the wrinkles, you want them nice and dry. I'm gonna turn the heat down because it's right in her face. I know, you don't like no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay, pet pet. I'm going to take my thumb and with the heat blowing, and again, I put it on low, I'm going to rub. And as I rub, it doesn't seem like I'm doing much, but I'm getting all those fine little hairs out. That's going to keep bacteria down because there's nothing for it to you know, you just want healthy hair and skin. You don't need a lot of, you don't want a lot of excess buildup in there. Look at this incredible pile of hair just from her head and wrinkles. Um, so now we're going to move on to carding. We're going to have a fine carding knife here. And just like a Ferminator, you use this to take out the undercoat. But unlike the Ferminator, you can control the angle of the blade, which is very important, especially for sensitive skin dogs like bulldogs, um, boxers, things like that with like real thin hair, thin skin, um, especially white dogs. Okay, so to card, you simply use it like you would a Ferminator, but flatter to the skin. So this is flat, and then I raise it up just a little bit, like just enough so that the edge of my thumb could go under there. And I'm pulling the skin slightly taut, easily, not like but just a little bit up so it's firm with my other hand. And I'm going always with the grain. This might not look like it's doing much. But look at all that hair. That's just undercoat. Dead shedding hair. And because this is her shoulder, I'm following the muscle. Then I'm doing the seam. It's okay, huh? Back here on the thigh, I'm pulling the skin with my other hand from behind her. She doesn't like standing on the table, she's nervous. So my other hand is here. Oh, hun, stop. My other hand is through underneath of her and wrapped around the side. There's my fingers and I'm just pulling it slightly. You can see the skin move slightly under her. I'm doing that with a flat hand. So my hand on the other side looks like this, just pulling down. 
and then I'm gonna go follow the sky. And again, I wanna keep it pretty flat. I don't wanna go like this, cause that'll dig into the skin. That's what happens with the Ferminators. Just wanna go and support the skin as much as I can. I'll even do like a little bit. And I'm doing this very lightly. You can make it very hard, but I'm doing it very light. Okay, for this guy, we're gonna have several tools. We have um, a soft slicker. I mean, this is a little bit medium firm. I like it because of where the teeth are bent. Um, they're right at the end there versus halfway, which is like most slickers. Um, a comb. I comb all of my short haired dogs to make sure there's no thick areas. The and is to shedding rakes. There's the coarse and the fine. The fine is um, what I use instead of a Ferminator along with a carding knife. These are super cheap. Well, not this one. They don't make it anymore, but um, they're a great tool to have for dogs and cats. And then we have some various rakes here for the butts. And they go from coarser to finer. And then obviously a rubber curry to get any of the short guard hairs out. So I'm gonna start with the slicker. Just like any other dog, a dog I brush thoroughly all the way over. Okay, just a few strokes. Go to a rake. Now I'm going to start with the coarser one. See if it works on his hair. Sometimes they don't, and that's why I have various tools. I'm pulling some out, but not as much as I'd like. So I'm going to try the endus. Both of these are relatively safe. Um, you know, you don't press hard, let the tool do the work. You don't need to put pressure in. Just light, light touch. And you can see hairs falling out there. Uh, this is the coarse one, so it's not gonna pull as much hair as a fine, but we're just trying to get some bulk off. And this is a medium coated dog. So he has areas where he's shorter, versus longer with this hand for maximum effectiveness and to make sure that the coat stays nice and healthy and you want to clear your tool means taking the hair out of it as you go and you're checking to make sure there's not like a bunch of cut hair or anything you can see the nice use that means that it's not breaking hair it's just pulling out the dead stuff so that's pretty good I'm going to go down to the end is fine. And now I'm going to do that on the shoulder and raking with this one. And I'm raking from my shoulder. I'm not breaking my wrist, just like if I was hand stripping. Um, it keeps the tool pressure light. Oh, I know. There you go. You can see. And this is doing a much nicer job than a Ferminator would without irritating the skin. You can see how nice and white and clear the skin is still. It's not getting pink. I'm not pressing hard. I'm not cutting hair. Um, the reason, I, I, and I don't mean to rag on any tool because you know every tool can be used um, as long as you use it properly. The problem with a Ferminator is you cannot control the angle of the blade. This I have a little bit more control over. I'm just gonna do this until I feel like less resistance um it's it's really hard it's like if you're cutting fabric or wrapping paper you know you make that first slice and it's easy and then you drag it and you feel the resistance of the paper against your blade these aren't blades these are teeth but you still feel it's a little harder to pull through areas that's where there's thick stuff so in here you can feel that when i pull the skin toner it comes a little looser um, and that's why you really want to support the skin because it makes it easy, your job easier. But it also helps you identify where you actually do need to pull more hair out. Okay. This will go on forever and we have a lot to cover. So I am going to then pretend that I've done the whole dog and I'm satisfied. And how I'm satisfied is I do a pinch test. So I grab a couple hairs and I see how many come out. Grab a couple hairs, see how many come out. 
I want zero to like three to come out. Um, another way that I check myself is I take a medium to fine tooth comb uh, and I lay it flat. This is flat on the skin and I pull it through. Anywhere that it kind of gets stuck, like right in there, it felt like it. It's not moving really easy. That's where I'm going to need to pull out more hair and you can see that evidenced in the comb. So I do this all over. Normally it just glides straight through like that when I'm done. And that's how I know that I've gotten all the thickness out. And the thickness is the shedding hair, the extra undercoat. Okay, I'm back with Miss Olivia here. And I was just going to show you one of my favorite de-shedding hacks. And that is the mosquito net. Um, I was a little hesitant because I didn't know how the dogs would respond. But I haven't had one respond um, in a panicked way at all about this. Um, so what I do is I just drape it over. I have it clipped into my grooming loop there. And then I'm going to tie the ends underneath on one corner and then on the opposite corner. And it's mesh. So I can literally just blow right through it and it's going to gather all the hair down at the bottom. And I'll show you guys that in a few. Okay, so we are here. We are pretty much dry. And just so you can see around, don't mind my flip flop. There's not a lot of hair anywhere else in the salon, but it is all caught underneath the table. Thanks to our mosquito net. Okay, so with Goldens, um, just like every other breed that I've been de-shedding, I'm going to rake, uh, I'm going to start with the coarsest rake, go through, um, back here the pants are very um, thick with undercoat, so this has a different texture than the silkier top coat up here, so I'm going to need like a different coarser rake for this, so I'm not just tearing this hair. Um, the major difference between a longish haired dog like this and one of the medium coated hounds or the very smooth boxer is the fringes. So that's all like these light fuzzy hairs that most people just thinning shear off and she actually has a wire texture to hers, but this will work on either. Um, it works actually better on fuzzies, but this is a glass nail file. This is from Dog Fashion Nail, um, but you can get them pretty much, you know, at a Sally Beauty or um, wherever. And you use it kind of like a carding knife or a stone. And I'm holding it like this with my thumb. And I'm just going to rub it and pull the ends of that hair. And it's just, this is dead hair that's wanting to come out. And it just hasn't, just like all of these shedding hair. And I'm just going to pull them down. You could do this with a carding knife too, but I feel like this stone's just a little gentler. And you can see here on the ends that there's absolutely no hair bulb that indicates that the hair is dead. And you can kind of just pull them out with your thumb too, but this makes it faster. Go out dogs, your bread and butter, or 
versus killing yourself. and stops because the hair growth is closer and more rigid there the skin's much thinner so you have to be very gentle you don't want to get all this real thin skin in here you don't want that to look pink okay you want it to stay that nice white shade if your skin is pink naturally you don't want it to get red better. Oops. Just a little spot right there. I'm just going to see if I can tease it out because it's on the side there. And your comb will pull stuff out. And another nice trick is you can wrap rubber bands in the teeth of a wider tooth comb and use that. And I'm going to show that on the golden later. But yeah, I've got to do some more work on the sides of these tails. You're fine, bud. And again, light touch, pulling from my shoulder. Now, a lot of people ignore just shedding the tail, but um, you know, it really does bring out the color a lot. Like a lot of goldens will have a dull tail uh, in comparison to their body. And it is, it's just built up undercoat. And especially with um, the skin being so thin, it's more prone to things like um, stud tail back here, which is where the oil and the follicles you actually see he's got a little bit of it going on. This is what it kind of looks like. It's just clogged hair follicles and a lot of blackhead. Let's see. Okay, so now we're going to do the front legs, and obviously I've done the nails yet, but uh, this I'm going to use my carding knife for. And it's all this fine hair here, and you're like, oh, what a big deal. But this is stuff that'll get on pants, all the black furniture. I live with a bunch of black dogs, trust me. So I just take my carding knife, and I lay it as flat. It's okay. I lay it as flat as possible against the leg while pulling the skin with my other th hand. Okay, and you want to make sure that the dog's comfortable. You don't want to go out too far. You don't want to go in. You don't want to pull forward. If they're struggling against you, just change your position. Support the joints. I know, just a little bit. This is also, um, I'll show you on the bulldog. We saw on the bulldog using the carding knife on heads. And that's just if they have a lot of hair.
You can see the little U's there too. Just like the other tools.